All right, it's day two, and we are gonna head to Islands of Adventure, but first we're gonna go eat some breakfast downstairs, and then we're gonna head off to Iowa for some, for another day of Universal Fall. Oh, yay, we're back. All right, so we just parked. Now we're heading down to Islands of Adventure. We're gonna try to get on hold. For we're gonna get on hold first thing, so we're gonna get in line. It's about eight fifteen. Um, park opens at nine. Um, and I was watching the footage yesterday. I realized uh, the shots with my face in it. Um, were, you could kind of just not see my face, so I apologize for that. Um, I still used it because I really had nothing else to use. But um, yeah, I'll try to do a better job of that today. Now we're just heading down and we're gonna have another fun day here at Universal. All right, we're headed to Islands. Let's go. A2 here at Universal Islands of Adventure today. So excited. The moving walkway exit is approaching. Please watch your step. A lot busier here today, pro uh, probably because the early parking mission for Universal, the Universal Park just started. So a lot of resort guests heading in for that. So we're headed off to Islands. Alrighty, we are here at Islands of Adventure. I know the logo's covered up, but we are here. Um, yeah, this is cool. Um, yeah, today early park admissions at Universal. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go get in line, and we'll see you inside the park. We're gonna go. We're gonna head for Hulk first. That's where our adventure is gonna begin here at Islands of Adventure. All right, so it's around 8:48. Jace just opened. We are gonna head in. So we're gonna do Hulk. I'll see you after the ride of camp film. So see you. Back. Yeah. Alright, so first bummer of the day, Hulk, we got to Hulk and it's closed, so, but, the, but that's the downside, but the plus side is they gave us free express passes, so we can come back later and ride it with no weight, so that's awesome. Um, nice job at Universal on that, but um, otherwise we're going to head to Spider-Man now. So, we're going to go do, alright, so Spider-Man is posted at 5 minutes, so that's where we're at right now. We're going to walk through the queue for the very first time. Let's see. Look at this, it's a newsroom. It doesn't feel like a ride queue. This is awesome. I love the Spider-Man movie, so this should be cool. This queue is awesome. All right, we're gonna go ride. All right, so we just got off the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man, and that was awesome. Um, yeah, that's the best dark ride here so far by far. Um, it was just a lot of fun. Um, the whole practical effects with the mix with the screens, I think it's that was the most well mixed of the two. Better, better than Transformers, even though it uses the same ride system. So I think we're gonna head towards uh, Kong now. So let's head over there. Hulk is still not running, I don't think. So let's head over towards Kong. All right, so we are at Skull Island Reign of Kong, and the posted wait time is currently 10 minutes. So we are gonna hop on. I want to show you some of the queue too, because the queue I hear and I hear in here is very elaborate. So. Let's go ride. Let's go take a ride on Skull Island Ring. So we just walked through the Skull Island queue, and Mom got terrified by a scare actor in this movie. No. I, because I knew there were live scare actors, and I was like anticipating it. I was waiting for you guys to react. Yeah, I heard the lady yelling. That was awesome. No, I hated but, that. I hated that. All right, we. We'll only do, oh, I only want to do this ride once, so. Let's hop on Skull Island Rain and Kong. I'll see you after the ride again. I can't. All right, so we just got off Skull Island Rain and Kong, and that was pretty good. Um, definitely, uh, definitely screen based 3D, but it was fun. Um, you do get. It gets uh, wet on that ride, so be warned. But we walked right on it, so that worked out. It was fun. Um, I would recommend it. I would do it if it, there was like a 30, 45 minute wait, no less. If you waited like an hour, then I don't know. But we're going to head towards uh, Hogsmeade now and do the two rides over there. Hopefully. hopefully. Um, and we're going to walk through Jurassic Park, which I'm so super excited about because... For those of you who don't know, don't know me, Jurassic Park is my favorite film of all time. So this is going to be really, really cool to walk through. All right, the line for Hippogriff is at like 45 minutes. So it's way too long to wait for that. So 
We're heading on Four Bidding Journey. The wait's posted at 35 minutes. We'll see how long that actually is because it's only 9.37. Um, I don't know how long the wait will be, so we'll see. Let's see how it goes. All right, we have to put our bag in the locker. I'll show you. Guests must think us most ungracious hosts. Good. And maybe they'll Like movements, here's a grip, but life like movements. Um, it's very congested in the section, so that's why I'm kind of over here. But um, yeah, I thought it was awesome, definitely worth riding. Um, especially if you wait for how long I wait 60 minutes, it's worth it. A lot of fun, a lot of screen practical sets. It's awesome, highly recommend it. I think we're gonna head towards Holt, try to get on that. Um, if it doesn't have too long of a wait, so we'll update you soon. All right, so we're just kind of taking a walk through Hogsmeade right now. I'm actually gonna go get some uh, construction. Up I'm gonna go get a construction update on the new Harry Potter coaster. So let's see what we can see of that. There's the old Dragon Challenge entrance. Rest in peace to BNM and Birds. I miss you, even though I never rode you. All right. There's, I don't think you can see much from the park actually, so I don't think I'll be getting much construction update. Hogwarts is rough. All right, we're gonna go towards Holt now and try to see if we can ride that. App was at five minutes, so I hope it's that short. It seems like everybody's here, so let's see what we can do with Holt. I also think I'm coming to the conclusion where I, I think I like this park better than Universal. It's just so well themed. Every single land you walk into, you feel like you're walking into another world. It's really cool. Like even the Lost Kind of, which doesn't even have like a major attraction, it still feels so immersed in the theming. So now we're gonna go do Holt, which you can see in the distance, you can see that launch dude. I don't see it running though, so we'll see. All right, just kidding, we landed up at Seuss's Landing and now we're gonna go on high in the sky, Seuss Trolley, so. Um, yeah, we're gonna hit that up real quick before uh, going over to Hulk, because we did see Hulk running, and we thought we might as well just do this, so here we go. Again, I can't, I won't go on the right, so. We have another lap. I apologize for all the last It's just that I can't film my video, so yeah. Alright, so I just got off high in the sky. So this is Charlie Train Ride. We were walking by it and it was a short wave, so we just hopped on and it was a fun little ride. Um I would do it if there's a short wave. If it's if there's a long wave, then forget about it. It's nothing too something to shout at, but it's fun if you can catch a short wave. So now we're gonna go do Hulk. These are our rain showers in the area it's coming this afternoon, so we're gonna try to get on it before it rains. Um, so we have that, um, the two water rides, Jurassic Park and Popeye, Dolby do rides down for refurb, and Can the Hat. So we don't have much to go left in this park that I, that my must do, like, list. I, I want to do Can the Hat because I'm a sucker for dark rides, any dark ride, so I want to check that out. But first, but first things first, Holt, and then I wanted to do Do Dr. Doom too before the weather hits. So we're gonna go do those. All right, guys, we're gonna head on the hold. Um, I, I can't bring my phone even in the queue, so 
I can't show you guys the queue or anything, so I'll report back after the ride and share my thoughts and everything. And then we're going to go from there. So we're getting stuff done again today. So let's go. So I, all right, so I just got off the Incredible Hulk, and that was awesome. Um, I really, really, really like that. I think that's one of my new favorite B&M bloopers. Um, the launch was definitely so much fun. That's the best part. That was my favorite part personally. The watch in that zero zero. I mean, there's nothing more exhilarating in this park than that. Um, and then the rest of the ride was good. It was very compact. It was, it was kind of, it was very intense. Um, I really liked it as I'm trying to make my way around this park. I'm going to try to go do Dr. Doom single rider. So we're going to head that way now. I think the single rider's at the exit. All right. I'm going to go try to ride that and I'll report that. So I try to ride Dr. Doom. But um, single rider line was closed and the actual line was 10 minutes, but then they shut down due to the weather. It's starting to rain here. So I think what we're gonna go do now actually is go to Mythos, which is in the Lost Continent section. And that was voted a while ago. Uh, one of the best, uh, the world, like the best theme park restaurant in the world. So um, I know that was like from 2005, so it is pretty, pretty old. But, um, but the food seemed pretty good. It seemed like a variety of food for everyone. So. I want to go check it out because it seems pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head that way and we're gonna go eat. So we're just gonna kind of go sit down, wait out the rain, and hopefully ride some more stuff after. Get on Jurassic Park, uh, Popeye, the the Popeye raft ride, and then Doctor Doom. I still have to get on that. So still, still lots more to come. So stay tuned. I might show you around Mythos a bit, but we'll see. All right, so we just placed a order at Mythos. Um, so, um, we have a 30 to 40 minute wait, but they'll text us when our table is ready so we can do anything. Um, in the meantime, because, I mean, they'll text us so we don't have a pager to take anywhere or anything. So I think what we're going to do now, go back to Seuss Landing, do can the hat real quick, kind of walk around that area until our table is ready. There's Get another ride knocked out while we're waiting for our table at Mythos. So let's go do that. All right, so now we're heading into Can the Hat. Posted a five minute wait, walk on ride, sweet. All right, we're gonna go ride. All right, so I just got off the Can the Hat, uh, literally walked on the thing. I mean, there's nobody, I mean, we just walked and the grouper immediately sat us, so that was awesome. Um, so that was nice that we didn't have to wait, but um, the ride is very nice. Um, I thought it captured the old classic dark ride feel. Um, it, it definitely felt like very Dr. Seuss, which is awesome. It, it definitely captured that feeling of the old cartoons of Dr. Seuss. And I said to my mom during the ride, I'm like, I, I'm like, when the when the cartoon ride is better than the live action movie, and that is completely true because the live action movie, well, it sucks. So um, we're gonna kind of just walk around Seuss Landing for a bit before our table because our table isn't ready yet at Mythos. So we will uh, we'll just kind of walk around and see what there is here. All right, all right, so we're gonna have fun exploring in Seuss's Landing here. One, some of the candy shops, uh, Met Cat um, from Cat in the Hat, so that was pretty cool. Um, so now we're entering the Lost Continent and heading back to Mythos to get our tables. Um, we get, uh, it's not ready yet, but we're just gonna kind of wait it out. It should, be, it should be in about 10, not even 10 minutes, so. Uh, yeah, it's been a nice afternoon so far. Hoping to get on Jurassic Park after dinner. Um, and now I'm gonna go take a picture. We'll see you in Mythos. All right, so we are here in Mythos. What did we go on so far? Um, here's Island Coast Adventure. Look at the view outside of the table. We got Hulk, Dr. Doom, Team Lagoon over there. Um, can't see Jurassic Park this time, like, you're already the outside. Um, there's Hulk going. Nice. Oh, and now. So yeah, we're just kind of in here. I got a cheap burger, so we see all the food. Very nice restaurant. I'm really liking the soap. All right, so we just got done eating at Mythos, and the meal was actually really good. So if you're coming to Islands of Adventure, I highly recommend going there. Um, Universal food otherwise doesn't look very, it doesn't seem very appealing to me, but uh, I had a bacon cheeseburger at Mythos. It was pretty good. It was really good, actually. Um, filled me up. And the prices are like 16, 17 per meal. It's not much more than what you get at some of these kiosks around the park. So, um, 
Yeah, I thought I thought it was a very good meal. Um, yeah, filled me up. Um, so I think we're gonna head towards uh, Hogsmeade Wizarding World. Uh, just check that out. Visit some of the shops. Maybe get some candy and whatnot. And then head over to Jurassic Park to ride River Adventure and check out the Discovery Center. So see you at Hogsmeade. Alrighty, so I think we're gonna make our way out of uh, ho uh, out of Hogsmeade here, because um, we stopped in uh, the candy store. I forgot what it's called already. Um, Honey Dukes, Honey Dukes. We stopped in Honey Dukes, and uh, to be honest with you, it uh, we didn't find anything we really cared for. So. Um, yeah, we just stopped in there, so I think we're gonna head to Jurassic Park here. We're gonna take a picture in front of Hogwarts Castle. We're gonna head over to Jurassic Park. I know. So we're all headed down to Jurassic Park Discovery Center here, and we're gonna check this out. See what's going on down here. It's gonna be so cool. I love Jurassic Park, so this is awesome. All right, let's check it out. Okay. We're not going to understand the significance of Mr. D in Jurassic Park. Love that dude. So awesome. This place is awesome. Let's see what else they got. It's cool. A lot of interactive stuff. This would definitely be fun for kids. And Jurassic. Dinosaur sculptures, these are really cool. And then I think Jurassic Park trivia, or dinosaur trivia. And then the nursery where you could uh, examine dinosaur eggs. One of the coolest things I thought. Nice little ad touch. And that they have a barbecue thing. Only people who've seen them are going Oh, that's right. Nice. What? What happened? What'd you get? She, a T-Rex. She got a T-Rex embryo? Uh-huh. Nice. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Are you actually... All right. Cool just walking around in there. This is cool. Hey, I have to get the embryo out. All right, so that so that was the boat splashing down in Grass Park River Adventure, which means we just got off. Grass Park River Adventure regular line was an hour, but for single riders, it was a walk on. So we got right on Grass Park River Adventure without having to wait an hour. And let me just say that was awesome. Um, yeah, one of my favorite water rides of all time. Um, it was short, or but um, it was definitely a lot of fun. The animatronics were were uh, really good. Um, that final drop with the T Rex was awesome. Um, and yeah, just overall, just very, very, very fun ride. Um, so I think we're gonna head towards Popeye See the wait for that. Maybe, maybe get on that. I don't know. So I guess we've decided against Popeye and Pluto because uh, we don't want to get that wet. But I think we're just racing. so yeah. We just don't want to get that wet. We've already done one rider ride, and this isn't too big for us. I don't know. You want to do it? Anybody? No. Any volunteers want to do it? You can do it by yourself. I'm not doing it by myself. You guys want to do it? No. All right. Well, that's fine. I don't want to do it get so by myself. All right. So we are change of plans. Uh, my dad has agreed to uh, risk risk fate to uh, hop to hop on. Popeye and Blue's Blue Drive Barges, so we will hop, we're, we are going to hop on that. It's only a 10 minute wait. So let's go get wet again. Alrighty, I just got on Popeye and Blue's Blue Drive Barges and that was by far the most wet I've ever gotten on a water ride. Look, take a look at this. I am like head to toe, my pants are completely soaked. Um, yeah, so like I'm soaking wet. My dad, who I went with, is soaking wet. There is no seat on that ride where you can stay dry. Absolutely none. You're getting drenched no matter what seat you sit in. Put 
other than getting wet, it's a lot of fun. Um, I mean, didn't get so wet, I think I enjoy it more. It's just, I got, I just got so wet. So I think we're gonna head towards Dr. Doom's Fear Fall for a uh, ride on that. So, all right, so we're back at Dr. Doom, and we're gonna head on this thing. Because it's only a 10 minute wait, and this queue is dark. It's cool. I love this queue, actually. This is one of the more underrated queues in Universal. Really cool. Yeah, no, I did, but then I said, oh, um, we just got off Dr. Fall back there, sticking through the buildings, and that was fun. Um, the queue, um, I loved, actually. It's one of the most underrated queues in Universal. Nobody talked about it, and I, I loved the queue in that. Um, that was awesome. I mean, it's just your SNS drop t uh, shot tower, but um, all in all, it was it was fun. Um, I mean, those things are always, always, set, always tend to be fun. Oh, my God, single riders, like, Alright, I'm gonna get on this thing single rider, so for one last ride here at Universal, so um I won't be I won't be I can't film, so see y'all Alrighty. I just got off the Rebel for a second time. I actually did standby because it was only close to 10 minutes. Now it's 45, so talk about perfect timing. Uh and it was again it was a fantastic ride. Um probably yeah, it's my favorite coaster here at the uh, resort. Um, I think Rip Ride Rocket being a close second, but this uh, this takes the cake for being my favorite. Um, just such a fun ride. Um, even with so many inversions, even if you don't like inversions, I think this is a good first inversion coaster just because it's so fun. It gets you over launches and everything. Um, again, just the whole blast. Um, so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go up to the front, go shopping a bit. Um, I need to get some magnets from a magnet collection and just check out some of the other merch and then head out so uh, okay we're heading out and that's gonna be the sign out for the vlog and then tomorrow we will be at we will be at uh animal kingdom hollywood studios and epcot so that should be a lot of fun um so look forward to those vlogs i'm gonna have vlog from the three what I can find in the stores. I already found a Jurassic Park t-shirt um, that I like, so I got that, but um, I want to see like magnets and other merch they have at the front here at the Port of Entry, and then we're going to head out. All right, my first time coming down to this. Look what's there. There's already construction already on Jurassic Park coasters. It should be awesome. So I just got done shopping. I got a couple magnets. Um, um, a Universal Studios one and an Islands one to add to my theme park magnet collection. So that's pretty cool. Um, they had no ride specific ones. I usually get some ride specific ones, but I do that mostly for coasters and I didn't feel like getting one for Hulk. They're like, they're like 70 bucks. So um, we're going to stop in here because my sister wants to get something. And then we're going to head out. Um, I'll sign this vlog off going to going to uh, City Walk or going to our car from City Walk. So. So yeah, that's that's that, and see you back at City Walk owner. All right, it's around four o'clock, and we're gonna head out of City Walk. We spent a couple minutes here. We stopped in the Universal Studios store looking for stuff, and the Billabong store because we're going to look for stuff. But other than that, um, um, very good trip to Universal. I had a lot of fun. Universal is a great park. Um, has its pros and cons, kind of like Disney House's pros and cons. But um, other than that. Um, I liked it. I like Universal on its own. I mean, I can't. Re you can't really compare the two parks. I mean, Disney's just in its own league. Universal's great. Don't get me wrong. And I can see how people like Universal more. But I mean, Disney just has that that take you out of your world sense to it. So goodbye, Universal. And let's stick on the moving walkway for a second. Please watch 
pictures. Yeah. The moving walk All right, so that does it for the Islands of Adventure vlog. So again, tomorrow we'll be at Disney's. Uh, we'll be at Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. So three-part vlog. Uh, three-part vlog coming your way. And if you want to see more, and you want to see that more, subscribe down below to stay connected to the network.